All right, Mike, if you can, first off, just tell us who you are and what your time, what your role is here with the city. Certainly. Uh, Mike Borchers, I'm the Assistant Director for Water Resources. So first off, Mike, I just want to ask if the Greensboro drinking water is safe. Absolutely, the drinking water at, for, from the city of Greensboro is safe. Uh, right here, this glass that I have in front of me is the one that I use every single morning to fill up. Uh, I fill it twice a day to go ahead and get my drink as I start off my day. So uh, for me, uh, I not only can say that it's safe, but I also demonstrate it by drinking it every single day. All right, great. Mike, next, can you please just explain in layman's terms to us what PFAS and PFOA is? Absolutely. PFOS and PFOA are a class of what we call perfluorinated compounds. These are long carbon chain organic compounds that were used uh, basically to provide uh, benefits in manufacturing. For instance, uh, stain guard and uh, those things for, uh, that we wanted to put, make uh, water resistant or water repellent. And also it was used in firefighting activities. It's also formulated in what we call AFFF, aqueous film forming foam. So they're used for firefighting activities as well. So when did the city first find samples of this in our water? We first detected it back in 2014. The EPA, under the Safe Drinking Water Act, has what they call an unregulated contaminant monitoring rule. It's called UCMR. We were in the third iteration, and PFOS and PFOA were two of the 30 compounds that were on there for us to detect, uh, to, to go and look. And there, the EPA does this to see how prevalent it is in the environment. So back in 2014, we sampled and we detected it in the finished water within the city of Greensboro. In 2016, we started implementing our investigation to determine where is it coming from. So how often, or how do we monitor these contaminants and how often do we check for them? As I mentioned earlier, we started the investigation in 2016 and we were looking by uh, where was it coming from. So we monitor on a monthly basis. We were, we were sampling tributaries, we were sampling our lakes, but we were also sampling our finished water, our drinking water goes into the plant. Recently we have uh, uh, expanded that. We're now we're sampling on a monthly basis. So going forward, starting last month, we sample every month to determine uh, what uh, level they are. And the good news is, is that every time we have sampled our finished water, it's been below the health advisory level, which is currently set at 70 parts per trillion. Okay, so we had that initial spike. And so since then, you're saying we haven't seen that spike. We, we have had spikes, but all of our spikes have been below the health advisory level in our finished water. So we have seen spikes in our raw water, but that's part of our plan through this investigation is to put steps in place so that when we do have a spike and if we go above the health advisory, which we haven't yet, that we will have plans in place to help address it. Okay, so obviously we're monitoring PFAS and PFOA and countless other potential contaminants. So with all that being said, again, our drinking water is safe, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. The number one goal of water resources is to provide safe, clean drinking water to all of our customers. And I drink it every single day. It's one of the first things that I do when I come in uh, to the office uh, each morning. And the other thing we've got to realize is that the concentrations we're talking about here are very, very small. We're talking about a part per trillion is a one drop in an Olympic sized swimming pool. And here we're talking about for a health advisory limit for PFOS and PPOA of 70 parts per trillion, so 70 drops. And the other thing we've got to remember too, that's over a lifetime of consumption. So that's about two quarts per day for 70 years. So that's the thing that we've got to remember is, is that this is over a lifetime of exposure. So we do everything we can in water resources to address any and all emerging contaminants to make sure that the water will be and continues to be safe for our customers.